Hello and welcome to a new episode from Zyxel Support Campus. Today I want to introduce the VMG 1312 T20B to you. It's a VDSL vectoring modem that can also be used as ADSL 2 Plus modem and it has a USB connection. What is inside the box? Let's have a look. Cycle delivers the device in an eco-friendly box that consists mainly out of cardboard. Inside the box you can find the FCC declaration, the quick start guide and the warranty information. The device comes in a stylish white housing and is very compact. On the right hand side you find the USB connection and the reset button, on the back side the power connection, LAN and DSL port. On the left hand side the WPS button and the wireless button. The label on the back side shows the standard value for Wi-Fi and user access. In the box is also a DSL cable and a DSL splitter as well as a LAN cable and a power supply for Europe. Now I want to show you how to install this device. Connect the DSL cable coming from your provider to the grey port and the power to the power connector. Switch on the device and let it boot up. You can see that on the flashing power light. Meanwhile the device tries the DSL connection and gets TR69 information from your provider. You can see it on several flashes of the DSL light in green. After a few seconds the wireless LED is also enlightened and you can start to connect with the device using the credentials of the backside. When the DSL connection is synchronized you receive a blinking internet LED that enlights in green when user credentials are ok. If the internet LED stays red we need to configure the user settings for your provider that you received by a letter from the provider. When all LEDs are in status green, you can use the device already with the wireless connection or connect devices on the LAN ports. If the device reboots, it has received a new firmware from the provider. To configure the device you need to connect the computer by wireless or cable. Open the website 192.168.1.1 and log in with the username and the password from the backside of the device. Then you have to change the password. Make sure to note this new password down so you have it for later proposals. Once you forgot it you can only reset the device to recover it. After that the device starts the installation wizard. The time zone and internet access is changed as well as you can change the wireless settings, SSID and password. The device establish a new connection. Make sure to connect with the new wireless. On the status page you can see the actual firmware version which you can update from data from our website. Open the main menu on the three stripes on the upper right corner and start with the network settings broadband. In case the device has not been set up by TR69, you can here enter the details that your provider gave you by letter, including username and password for the PPP connection. If pages like Facebook or eBay do not appear correctly, check the MTU value if it's correct given from your provider. When all changes are applied correctly, the internet LED should turn into green. In the menu wireless you can change different settings like the SSID and password, guest wireless and also access to the wireless by MAC authentication or WPS. The easy WPS function can be established by three different methods which you can set in this menu. Beside these settings you can also change different network settings in the main menu using the other segments of network settings. All functions are described in the user manual which you can download from the internet page. You should check all the settings before you change them in the device as a misconfiguration leads to a reset of the device. 
All maintenance can be done in the maintenance menu, very important like firmware updates, backup and restore of the device. This graphical user interface is offered in different languages which you can choose from the bubble on the right hand side. It is recommended to leave the user interface always using the lockout function so that the device is secured. Now let's have a look how we can improve your device functions and set it up correctly. Especially when the device is installed in a big house where several access points are working, you should check under the channel status if you're using a channel that is free from other access points. The orange shows you the current channel and any other free channel can be chosen in the main menu. Remember the free channel, then go to the general settings and change the channel from auto to the number that you found is empty. Then apply it to the device. Now your wireless should be much stronger than before and you can reach it from anywhere inside your area. If you have any questions about the device, you can put it down in the comment segment or give us a visit on support.cycle.eu. You can find more than 600 help documents in different languages as well as the contact to our support team. We are done with our episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our new episodes. You can also get in contact with us on our Facebook page. If you have questions about the product, we would like to see them on support.cycle.eu or you can write them down in the comment segment. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. We're Zycel and we're your networking ally.